Hello everyone, I am Jadeep Singh Chahil. So this would be an update number four on the Mercedes E250 build. So finally the day has come. I am here in Moga at GS Turbos. Same place where we got the turbo for the camper van done. So this is owned and run by Jas. He is a very good friend of Gurpreet. Gurpreet is behind the camera so you won't be able to see him. So uh, Finally, we are here and we've got a lot of iterations and uh, options right here because this place has all possible turbo and turbo options that you can look for. And they've been specializing in installation of uh, uh, turbochargers in tractors, which is, which is the prime, prime market uh, in Punjab for quite a while. So they're doing like a turbo a day, so it's much, much more than your average tuner shop. So... If you can bring the camera here, I'll quickly brief you through what the plan is. So, we are somewhat uh, halfway through the opening up of uh, the intake and uh, the hot side. So, this was the stock air box. So, this is the stock air box. It has a plate type filter, the normal one that goes in the OM605. The plan is to give it better flow but in a smaller size. So, we won't be using this anymore. Uh, this is their tried and tested option. This runs with two filters. We'll be taking out the inner filter. We'll run a single filter with this. And they have flow matched, flow tested, and uh, he, he's more than satisfied with the performance. So we won't be questioning his understanding and his intelligence for that. So this is the option that we are going to go with because they are actually installing a big, big number of turbos on tractors and Tuning for the pump, the pump is pretty similar to the Bosch units that we see on tractors these days. So, they're very, very well versed with what they're doing. It is just a similar setup but in a different vehicle. So, this is where we are actually going to sit and learn and see what, uh, you know, what happens with the vehicle. So, this has been taken off. Uh, if you can bring the camera this side. Uh, this little outlet was where the EGR is. That will be done away with. The EGR pipe has been removed. If you can see this uh, round capsule shaped flange, this is going to be shaved off. Uh, once it is shaved off, the turbo is going to sit there. I will also show you how the turbo is going to be mounted. So, we have got a few options and iterations here with us. This is a very, very interesting turbo uh, used in John Deere tractors and a lot of heavy uh, machinery. Uh, been in service since 2003. That's what I have managed to read about it. This is a Brog Warner S100. Very, very tested turbo and I think very heavy duty. It, it comes as an OEM fitment in most vehicles, so there's not a lot of option to have your turbo actuator or uh, the boost gauge. But we'll be doing something for that, but the quality is top notch and I'm very, very interested in using it. So, we'll be doing a boost test on this post installation once. If it does match the 1.3, 1.4 bar... Uh, uh, requirement, I think there are no uh, second, uh, you know, options that we'll be going ahead with. The reason being, this is a very, very compact turbo, will match with the HX35 or the HE250, uh, similar performance, but at a very, very smaller size. The thing is, in the car, we are kind of constrained for space. So, this is where the hot end is going to sit. And this is going to go into this, but this is going to get replaced by a steel pipe and that is your inlet. So, I will quickly show you the inlet and the other side as well. Uh, just to get an idea of the difference in size. This is the HX35, even though this comes in tons of different shapes and sizes, but uh, generally the colder end is pretty big on the HX series. So, fitting it is kind of a challenge. You have to clock it out. This will uh, come around 90 degrees up and then it will match the inlet port. But pretty big and slightly difficult to fit it. We we have called for a couple of other options, maybe an HE250 which will fit and see if it works well. But uh, I think these top 3-4 brands, Garrett, Hulset, Brog Warner, these are all at, at a similar, similar level. So you can't really say one is better than the other. So... This being our option, the turbo is going to pump fresh air into the inlet, it goes into the plenum and that is about it. I think we are probably going to go ahead with this with a boost gauge inside because I have really liked the quality as well and a lot of good reviews. 
even though i came prepared for an he250 but i am very much convinced with this so this engine uh, runs perfectly with a 1.4 bar setting so if we are able to touch anything around 1.2 1.3 i i think we don't need to play around a lot because in the first stage we are not going to install an intercooler this is going to be a direct turbo install so i think since i am in the right place i'll be doing a video in hindi or punjabi with the detail on what a turbo is and how it works and uh, and i think we can do an explainer do let me know if you want me to cover something like that the the working of a turbo charger where it gets installed why it gets installed and how it works uh now to the interesting bit that is on the other side uh this right here is actually the pump if you can bring the camera here and focus a little these five uh, uh fingers in a line that you see that is the pump so this is an inline pump controlled by an edc which is the electronic diesel control uh, that that used to be the fancy technology back in the day so this pump is going to be matched with the input from the turbo uh, for the bigger bank you need fuel and you need air so air is taking been taken care of by the turbo and for the fuel part we'll be working on the pump currently it is running 5.5 or 6 there's a lot of variation in data online as well so we'll only get to know once we pull the pump out so the plungers are uh, either going to be 5.5 or 6 mm in this pump the plan is to upgrade that to 7 or 7.3 or 7.5 whatever uh, is suggested by the expert so we should be seeing some very good numbers and amazing drivability stock vehicle currently it needs no work all the oils fluids and filters they've been changed and it is ready to take the turbo uh, i'll try to record more and uh, keep you updated with the progress thank you